Welcome back to Ribbon Candy Hooking. I'm Deanna. We are in Yarmouth Port on Cape Cod at the Bangs Hallett, the uh, old Yarmouth Historical Society. They aren't open today. Dang it, the website was wrong. But I want to show you something so cool. It is, it's the biggest tree I've ever seen. How about you, Ted? Uh, yeah. And, and the most exotic. Look at this. This is a great idea for a sketchbook snack. This is a great composition idea. Talk about an outrageously big tree. From what I remember, because the Historical Society isn't open, we have to come back on Friday. Um, a lot Wait, of the sea on. captains... Before Friday? No, we leave on Saturday. Oh. A lot of the sea captains um, brought things from other places, right? Super exotic. One of them was like saplings, trees, seeds, things like that. And I think that's where this one behind us came from. I'm going to show you. Okay, here we go. So this is the Bangs Hallett house. This is like one of the great sea captain's houses. That's the Edward Gorey house across the street, if you remember the artist Edward Gorey, one of the greats. Giant anchor sitting right here. And get ready yeah. for this, this is, crazy tree. We are not visible this end. It's obviously some kind of, let, let's look inside. I don't remember. I feel like it's a Japanese variety of a tree, but it is a monstrously big tree. Here, come with me. And it's some kind of a weeper, right? It's like, it's weeping, weeping away. It's so beautiful over here. You know, the sun is powerful. I'll try to get another angle. But you come in and it looks like, I mean, if you were a kid and <laughs> this was in your yard, it would be absolutely bonkers. It's got an enormous, no, don't climb on it, Ted. It's got an enormous root system. Talk about some good, good old shade massive canopy and it's very twisty and exotic looking and all of this room all of this is under the tree this tree is making incredible shade and this tree if you're local is just <laughs> hi baby hi. so don't do any more climbing than that so people have done this over the years right you have to be a little bit careful where they don't want you is, people oh my God, it looks like a sea monster. Oh my gosh, totally. They car they carved their names with other people, but giant, giant, giant tree. Look at this root system. I mean, this would be a weird composition. It would have to be very specific because it's not a weeping willow, is it? It's, well, let's see what it is. Let's go over here. I don't want to trip on this crazy root system. I know. It's very rugged. I've got stupid sandals on. No, don't climb it. You're not supposed to climb it because it damages the tree. Okay. I am an, oh, I'm wrong. I am an English weeping beech tree, over 100 years old. My limbs are heavy. My joints are weak. Please enjoy a quiet moment in my shade, but do not climb on my branches, Ted. It hurts me. Thank you. Gosh, this thing is epically big. I don't think in this video you get a feel for how big this thing is and how literally awesome this thing is. I know. And this is uh, what I was saying is this is this is here so you don't have to come to the Historical Society or pay or for them to be open to walk behind the house and see this thing. It is like one of the great free outdoor epic scale things on the Cape that you can see. If you're interested in trees and you know more than me this would be incredible. You see how the, the roots are, are um, connecting, yeah. right? I mean, they're like, and it's just crazy. The roots are like traveling along on the surface and then popping back out. And the trunk of it is huge. Teddy, stand near the trunk of it so we can get a feel for scale. Wait, hold on. Is Teddy's, Teddy's bigger, Teddy's bigger than me. Five foot six or five foot seven. Yeah, he's about five foot six or seven. Yeah. It's big. It's a big tree. I'd say it's six foot across, something like that, the trunk. Anyway, I just wanted to share this with you because I thought it was an incredible thing. I w oh, you know what? Maybe that's the composite. I love this business for a composition idea. You know what I mean? For a pattern, because it's so warty and old and strong and beautiful. But I also like this for a composition idea. Right, like all of the twisty branches up there. That is pretty also. Crazy, isn't it, Ted? We love oh, coming in here. Yeah. I have not visited this place in like, I think five or four years. I think three years. 
Yes. I think so. I don't know. Maybe not. I think it was 2019. Might have been 2019. All right. Spinning around this huge English weeping beach. English weeping beach. I will see you next time at Raven Candy Hooking. Take care.